Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And I've got a very special package in the mail today. That makes me very happy. It's from Ray Roy. And Ray Roy is a chili head. Um, a growing chili head, aspiring chili head. So I sent him some things. So he responded by sending me some other awesome stuff. So Ray Roy, you might want to check him out sometime. He's done one challenge that I never ever want to do, that I fear. So he's done a lot of the Inferno Candy Company challenges, and I love Inferno Candy Company, and Ray does too, but he did the bug challenge. Has spicy bars infused with bugs on the top, and that's one thing I don't think I can ever do. Maybe, maybe if I ever get to 1,000 subscribers, I might do it, but that gives me the eebie-jeebies. That's why I'm setting the goal so high because I honestly don't think I'm ever going to get there. Um, but if I do, I would. Mark my words, if I ever do, I would. But I don't think I'll ever get there. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty safe about that. But that gives me the eebie-jeebies. It's just worse than dark chocolate by far. I, the bug thing, I don't think I can get past. So it's like three bars with like bugs on them but anyway so Ray Roy um I love his channel I can find him he comments on me his channels are kind of hard to find in the analytics I've tried to type in Ray Roy and like millions of things come up so Ray I have a little bit of advice for you and I do this to all my fellow chili heads who don't have an official name you may want to consider adding something to your name I always like the combination that your name starts with like Raging Ray Roy, Ray the Reaper Roy, maybe, or you could do a combo, Ray the Raging Reaper Roy, but you'll have to think about it, because I, you have to go along with it too, it's not Mr. Brad Ward and picking out the name, but it would maybe help your analytics and help people to find you, but I may post the link below anyway. So the things he sent me are very special. I'm amped about both of them. <clears throat> so back a few months ago, I did a cooking show where I made my Wicked Warden Wisp Banger hot sauce. And I shared my ingredients. I put it out there for everybody so other people can try to make it if they want to. Well, Ray Roy was the very first person that I know of that went ahead and attempted to make it with the ingredients. And he sent the ingredients he used. So he may, he may have found the missing link, which I'm super excited about. So I had the Wicked Warden Wispanger hot sauce, the hot version that had all pretty much super hot peppers in. And then people's, people were like, I think it tastes and smells pretty good, so can you make a mild version? So then I made a mild version with some greens like serrano jalapeno. Well, Ray went ahead and used my regular ingredients but he added some like more intermediate like habanero scotch bonnets thai chili so um i'm really excited i already cheated i didn't try it but i cracked it open to smell it and it kind of smells like wicked warren with banger hot sauce it smells like the original it's kind of in between the colors of the mild and the hot so i'm super excited he named it Ray's Kinda Hot Sauce here, so it might be the intermediate. So I'm going to try this uh, eventually. But he also sent me, since Ray's from Canada, he sent me some hot and sweet spicy maple, maple heat syrup, straight from Canada. My wife was pouting now, and she got upset about it before. Um, not because she doesn't like maple syrup. Quite the contrary. She loves maple syrup, but she's sad that it might just be too hot and spicy for her. So anyway, I'm going to open this. I'm going to try this in a different video. But it's hot and sweet spicy maple syrup, and it's pretty much straight maple syrup. It's got maple syrup, bell peppers, habanero peppers, and scotch bonnet peppers. So it's going to have some pretty good heat with it. So that's warning, spicy, proudly Canadian from Canada. Looks real good. But I'm going to save that for a separate review, which I'm also very excited about. 
But this one I'm excited about too. I want to see what the heat value is and how close it is to the original. It definitely smelled like Wicked Warm Twist Banger Hot Sauce. So here we go. So maybe it's the medium version? That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's kind of that link, that kind of medium edition. Um, I was thinking about making that, but I wasn't sure what to add. But what he added, hopefully we'll get to a pretty medium heat here. So here we go. It honestly smells like the other two. Ooh. Nice big spoonful. It is. It is. <laughs> Excellent job, Ray. This is great. It is, um, it is that missing link. And actually, it was a little hotter than I even thought with the peppers you put in there. So, I would say, tastes a lot like Wicked Warden Whispering or Hot Sauce. So, you did a great job using the ingredients and make it taste almost exactly the same. In heat value, I would say this one's definitely closer to the hot version than the mild version. I would give it a, uh, it's a nice one. I would say where Wicked Warden Whisk Banger, the hot version, was a 10 for an average person. And maybe like a 2 for a chili hide. It wasn't super duper hot, but it was pretty hot. And the mild version was really mild. Maybe like a 2 or 3 for an average person. This one is, uh doable for most people um if you like heat that is maybe not like a person who doesn't like heat i would say this one is probably the intermediate i would say this one's probably about an eight for an average person and maybe like maybe pushing like a one-ish for a chili hat if you ate enough of this you get a real solid burn from it so I would say it's closer, actually, Ray. You did a good job. I'd say it's closer to the hotter version, actually. Oh. But, yeah, it's kind of hot sauce. It's like the intermediate. This is the one, <clears throat> one similar that I have been considering of making. Never got around to it. But you did a great job. So I'd keep, uh, I'd keep your recipe. He sent me a copy of the recipe, too. So now if I ever want to make an intermediate one, I can kind of share that recipe. That's as if you're okay with it, Ray. So, um, I'll try and get a link to his show posted down below. And Ray, you may want to consider adding one of those crazy fun names to your title on your show. But yeah, go ahead and check him out. He's done some cool Inferno Candy Company challenges. Um, nice family-friendly channel. So, thanks for all your support, Ray. Um, I hope you enjoyed my stuff, too, that I sent the, uh, a few weeks back. And, uh... Stay tuned for some other fun stuff. I'll be doing this one um, definitely within a few days. This was very good. Ray's kind of hot sauce. And we will see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.